Crazy. What's up, my little crazies? It's your girl, C to the G, G, G. Back with another video. Whoop, 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 y'all. I got a challenge. I got a challenge from Diva D06. Y'all, my sister, Diva D06, shouted me out to do this weight loss journey question challenge. That's what I'm going to call it. A weight loss journey question challenge. Basically, she gives you some questions that you have to answer about your weight loss journey. She did it yesterday. Y'all, I love her answers. Good answers. She already had the weight loss surgery. Looking good. Looking good. You can tell she lost a bunch of weight. I think she said it's been a month and two weeks so far. Dang. Y'all. She looking good. Y'all go check her channel out. Go support her. Go watch that video. Good questions. Good answers. I am going to shout out Marquita R. His I know for now I'm shouting y'all out because these are the people that I know that's going through a weight loss journey. So if I don't know that you're going through a weight loss journey, that's the reason why I'm probably not going to shout you out because I don't know. But I know for a fact Marquita R is. So girlfriend, go get a piece of paper and a pencil or whatever and get to writing. <laughs> and also munching, chatting with munching. Munching, chatting, with munching, chatting. That's a hard channel name. <laughs> you know, I always get it wrong. But I promise you, if you type in munching, chattings with munching, you will find it. Uh, I know for a fact that she went through the weight loss journey. Matter of fact, she's about to do another weight loss surgery pretty soon. Um, go get a piece of paper, pencil, whatever. Get to right. Get to right. But anyway. Let's get started, okay? Hope I can read my handwriting. And I had to drop it, didn't I? <laughs> Choo -choo -choo. Choo -choo -choo. Come here, paper. Ain't got all day now. Okay. Sorry, I had to drop it. All right. Number one question. When did you start gaining weight? Hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Mm. <laughs> you know what? This is about to get deep. See, I might want to cover your ears. I think I started gaining weight when I was in the fourth grade. I want to say fourth grade. Let me think. I was eight years old. What grade was I in? Fourth grade. I'm going to say third grade. Because I was still in elementary school. I don't remember. I want to say the third or fourth grade. Because my cycle my period cycle came on when I was in I was still in elementary school I remember I was still in elementary school um back in those days it wasn't normal for an 8 year old to have a cycle on not at the age of 8 that is too young back in those days it was way too young to start that cycle my parents put me on the Jeffro shot when I was eight years old, y'all. Don't get it twisted. Not because I was sexual active. No, 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 no. But because my cycle started. Yeah, and the doctors told them back in those days that the only way they could stop it is to put me on the Jeffro shot. I've been on the Jeffro shot since I was eight years old until I was 18. The whole entire, my whole childhood when over between two to four hundred pounds that whole entire yeah so i want to say i was in the fourth grade since the age of eight 
as far as I can remember. All right, number two, 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 two. Was you a emotional eater? Hmm. I want to say yes. Now, if you ask me, am I an emotional eater now? I, I yeah. That's the reason why I've gained probably. I'm scared. I go back to the doctor next Thursday. I know I gained more weight. I know I gained about 20 pounds. I know I have stress, depression, when I'm upset. If I'm happy, you know, I do good. When I'm upset, depressed, stuff like that, I tend to eat a lot of junk food. Smacking, candy, cookies, ice cream. All the, you name it, you name it, I'm gonna eat it. Yeah. I'm a very, I'm a, I don't know if I was as far as a child. I don't think I was. Because we ate as a family growing up. You know, when my mama cooked, we gonna eat it. I mean, it ain't no ifs, ands about it. But as far as now, I can say that I am an emotional eater. Now. Okay. What was that? Number two? Number three. How long have you been dieting? Um, I'm not on no diet. We don't call it dieting. And you will learn that if you're going through that weight loss journey and that weight loss um, program and stuff like that. We don't call it dieting no more because dieting is a short term thing. I'm in a new way of life, living a new way in my life. What I'm really going to start it hit it hard as far as really buckle down and get into this, which I have not been, which I got to start back. I don't, I, y'all, I haven't even been walking. I'm not gonna lie to you, I gave up. I have gave up with the YouTube bullying and stuff. Y'all, I gave up on all kind of stuff. I really have, but I got to get back on it. That's no excuse. That's no excuse. Um, I'm not on no diet. It's a new way of life, a new change of life. Because if I was on a diet, I would be eating healthy, 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 healthy. No, I, I can't do that. On the weekends, I told y'all, the weekends is my party weekend, y'all. I can't wait for tomorrow because it's going to be a seafood boil. They ain't got nothing to do with the topic. But um, I'm not on no diet. It's a new way of life changing for me. I just try to eat more healthier. Cut back the fats, cut back the um, sugars, cut back the fried foods, bake more, eat less, drink more water, the basics. There's nothing special. I'm just doing nothing special, y'all. Okay, next question. Back page. Okay. I basically got to answer the question already. It says, are you on any specific type of diet? Um, am I now? No. Should I be? Yes. Because the doctor got me on a 1200 calorie diet a day. I was doing it for a while. I was doing awesome. Y'all, I lost 10 pounds at one time. In a, uh, in a month. That, that would because I stuck to the diet, I stuck to it, I stuck to the walking, probably gained that back and more. Uh, am I going to be on a specific uh diet? Yes, because I'm starting back really soon. Now, I don't know what day, but really soon I am starting back. So, yes, I will be on that 1200 calorie diet. So, that's your answer. Okay, here we go. Well, I answered that question already. <laughs> Have I cut out any food completely? Well, completely? In a minute now. Hmm, completely. Hmm, yeah. Well, I wouldn't say food. I have cut out no sodas. Absolutely no, sh sh no, no sodas. If I do have a soda, it might be every one, every three months. 
When I say no sodas, I mean no diet soda, no Kool-Aid, no Kool-Aid, no Kool-Aid, no soda. I'm not going to say no bread because I do like my burgers and stuff, you know, I ain't going to say no bread. But as far as Kool-Aids, soda, things like that, absolutely not at all, none. Um, it should be more stuff out there. You should be seeing no to like no salt, no sugar and stuff like that. But I'm not perfect. I gotta have my sugar sometimes because I'm a diabetic. And I gotta have a little bit of salt in my life. So, I didn't cut that out completely. Just the sodas and the Kool-Aid. Okay. Oh, I answered that question already. <laughs> Have I had any success in weight loss so far? Yes. Like I said before, if you stick to that 1,200 calorie a day, I promise you, you're going to lose the weight. If you do 30 minutes of walking three times a week like I was doing before, you're going to lose the weight, y'all. I was losing some weight. I was stuck in, yes. It works, y'all. It works. I'm telling you. I, I'm saying because I know. Not, you know, what I think. Because what I know. So, yes, I've had success in losing some weight. Um, hopefully, praying to God, I have some more success coming soon. Like I said, I got to get back on the ball. But, yes. Okay. Wait a minute. Do you follow a workout plan? Um, right now? No, I don't. Am I supposed to be on one? Yes. My workout plan is simple. She wants me to work out, or not even work out, walk 30 minutes three times a week. Like, for example, Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays. Just 30 minutes. That's it. That's all she wants me to do. Because she said, because of my weight, and because I'm a big, big girl, because there's everybody's different sizes, she wants me to start out really, really slowly. Like, really slow. She don't want me to start a gym right now. She, because, you know, she don't want to put too much pressure on my knees. But, that's supposed to be my workout plan. So, yeah. Okay. Next question. Whoop, 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 whoop y'all. Number eight. Oh, what is some of my favorite diets? None. None at all. <laughs> I'm joking, y'all. Actually, no, I'm not. But I don't like to use that word diet. I hate that word diet. Oh, lifestyle change. Lifestyle change. What is my favorite new lifestyle change? And that's better. Um... Honestly, my favorite lifestyle change, or yeah, I'm going to say diet, is the part where my doctor don't want me to eat 1,200 calories every single day. I like it because she gives me that weekend of doing what I want to do. Now, I don't go and eat like 5,000, 6,000 calories that whole weekend. You know, I still have my leeway to it. Don't go overboard. But I like it that she didn't give me a weight loss. She did not give me a certain goal that I got to lose. She said, you do what you can do. She says, you go home and do what you can do. She says, she's not worried about my weight. She says, she's worried about my diabetes, which my diabetes already, you know, some of y'all already know about it. I went from a 14 all the way down to a nine. I'm working on hitting that seven. It's stuck. It's not going down. I've been trying. I need help, y'all. Um... I think that's my favorite diet as far as sticking with that 1200 calorie but that weekend come I have it my way like Burger King Ooh, I love some Burger King I have it my way y'all so I can say that's my this is my this is the only diet that I actually have been on that is successful any other diet y'all I gotta eat healthy I can't have this oh I'm gonna go crazy if I got that you know, if I uh, chew a piece of gum I'm gonna gain five pounds or uh, I'm panicking all the time about what's going in my mouth I'm always stressing this doctor right here 
I'm not stressing. I do what I want to do as far as eating, but I just make sure it's small portions and cut back the sugars and you know stuff like that. So this is my diet favorite one right here. All right, next caller. I sure I got the right piece of paper. Okay. How much weight do you want to lose? Whew. That's a good question. Whew. That's a good question. I'm trying to think, y'all. I don't want no I don't want to be a skinny mini. I don't want to be in my 100s, believe it or not, y'all. I don't want to hit that 100 mark. No offense, I love my boobs. And I mentioned this before, I love my booty. My booty, booty, booty do. Hit that booty do. Hit that booty do. Hey, hey. Anyway, this, anyway, back to the, sorry, to the question. I like my thickness, y'all. Believe it or not, I'm very, very a conceited person. When I say conceited, conceited. I'm not, now don't get me wrong, I don't think that I'm better than anybody or I'm all this and that. I'm not gonna use that. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna use that word conceited. I'm gonna say confident. There's a difference between conceited and confident. I'm a confident person in my body. If I'm not confident, I won't be on YouTube showing the whole world who I am. I love me for who I am. I love it. And I have mentioned it so many times. Um if I didn't have diabetes and high cholesterol. I won't worry about losing no weight. I wouldn't do it. I'm doing this journey because I don't I don't want to be a diabetic no more. I'm tired of being a diabetic. I'm tired of being having high cholesterol. That's the only two problems. I don't got high blood pressure, nothing like that. That's the only two. Two. My kidneys is fine. My heart is fine. My liver is fine. Everything else is fine. It's these two Diabetes and cholesterol. Oh, I can't. Still. I just would have just grabbed diabetes and just throw it in the garbage can. If it wasn't because of that, I won't worry about losing weight. I'm a very, very confident person. I love me for who I am. So if I can get down to, I'm going to say, between 200 to 215 pounds, y'all. Whoop, 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 y'all. I'll be happy with that. I do not want to be skinny. It's like, as far as skinny, skinny, I love my thickness. I mean, you probably can't. Y'all, this is beautiful. I'm sorry to say, but this is gorgeous right here. I mean, I'm, this is, I'm, I'm gorgeous. You, you can't change gorgeous, prettiness. You can't change that. You just can't change prettiness. I'm sorry. You just can't. Anyway, back to the questions. Okay. Oops. Do you feel like you're addicted to food? Woo! Woo! That's a good question. I don't feel like that I'm addicted to food. I feel like that I'm addicted to certain types of food that's not healthy for me. Like, for example, pizza. If somebody knock on my door right now and says, girl, I bought you a pizza, I'm going to eat it. I'm not going to say no. I don't care. I don't, I, don't, I don't care. And that's what I'm afraid of when I have this weight loss surgery. If somebody knock on my door and ask me for, a, uh, for some pizza or offer it to me, I'm afraid that I can't say no. Um, soul food. I'm addicted to like certain soul foods like neck bones. You cook me a pot of neck bones, hey, you got my heart for life. You got my heart. Certain soul foods I'm addicted to. Do I have to have food? I wouldn't say that I'm addicted to food because like I said, I've had that 1200 calorie diet a day besides the weekends. So no, I'm not addicted to food I'm addicted to certain types of food that I feel like that if I don't have it I'm going to go crazy like a drug so yeah okay last question number 11 no. I don't think I already answered this question I already did 
do you feel like you're comfortable in your own body once again I'm sexy and I know it girl look at that body girl look at that body girl look at that body Y'all, I don't know how to stress it enough. I'm a BBW, but that don't mean nothing. I... I love my thickness. I do. I don't want to be in a 100. I'm between 200 to 215. If I do get into the 100s, no less than 190. No, I can't do that. I got to have my... my, my I'm sorry y'all but yeah I had to do that I I'm very comfortable in my body if it wasn't because of health reasons uh, I wouldn't care I really wouldn't anyway y'all that was the last question thank you diva d06 for shouting me out y'all I had fun doing this I really did um calling out Marquita R do the journey weight loss questions and munching chatting with munchings y'all this was really fun. I want to do this again. And anybody else want to do it? Hey, go ahead and do it. Make a video. Just let me know. I'm definitely going to watch because I'm interested in what y'all journey is like. Remember the thumbs, thumbs, thumbs it up. Thumbs this video up. Remember to comment below if you have any questions, any advice, any concerns. Support each other. Love on each other. Remember, I love you, but God loves you more. Take care and be blessed. Bye-bye, my little crazies.